All right, well, before Facebook blocks me, let me turn my music off. <laughs> um, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Can you believe that it's Monday? I'm excited that it's Monday. That means this week is, weekend is over. This weekend was wonderful and crazy all at the same time. Yesterday was kind of, but Saturday was fun for us. I hope you guys had a great weekend. My brother actually came down to visit. Don't mind my bed shirt. <laughs> Lots of holes. It's the most comfortable shirt I own, guys. I know you can understand it. I just can't bear to part with it. I haven't found another favorite yet, so I'm like rocking the holes. Yeah, totally rocking it. Um, but my brother came down to visit. He was down visiting my aunt in Jacksonville, so he drove down to spend the day with our kiddo, and he just ate it up. It was fantastic. So, And it was good seeing him. I will actually see him in 11 days. I guess I fly home for one of my best friend's weddings and I'm going to actually stay with my parents. It's going to be fun. So, <laughs> um, no, truly it's great. I love going home for a visit, but anyway, that was the weekend. Um, I can't say it was super productive when he got here. I just kind of totally shut down. It was great. So if you shut down on the weekends, kudos to you. I don't normally shut down. I will say that by like, Saturday night, I was like needing to check in with some of my people. I didn't have any clients this weekend, so actually timing worked out perfect. So I hope you guys had a successful or productive or relaxing weekend. But here we are. It is Monday. Ooh, 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 came around again. And some of my clients this uh, past week and some of you guys have started asking me kind of questions about getting up and getting into routines and getting going in the morning because obviously here I am bright and early. It is six. My husband got me up at 4.50 this morning. Um, in, my in his defense, I did ask him to get me up this morning. Bless his heart, he does. Um, normally I'll set an alarm, but I knew that I was going to be super extra tired this morning. So I said, can you just get me up when you get up? And he's like, yeah. It's 4.50. Okay, I'm up. <laughs> so, like, But anyway, I have been up since 4.50. And some of you guys are looking to start getting up and being more productive in the morning. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about because you seem to think that I have like this miraculous system to getting going and being productive. And you guys, it is so not the case. It is so not the case. So if you are on, say hi. If you catch the replay, hashtag replay. If you know somebody who needs a morning routine or needs to get better, even if it's not this early in the morning, it doesn't have to be this early in the morning. Um, if you know somebody who needs a successful morning routine, share this video with them or tag them below, totally tag them below. Because I am a night owl. Can I be fully honest? I am a total night owl. I am so creative and productive at night. I 100% am. I could stay up till three or four in the morning, not be phased, go to bed, be cool with it, except, except one, my clients are not awake right then and there. So I could get a lot of back end work done, but I couldn't be talking to my clients at late at night. A lot of us have bedtimes. I would have to be superhuman to be able to run on like the two hours of sleep that I would probably get between getting off work and my son getting up and then having to function in order to teach and make breakfast and play or run errands or do whatever else it is that we do during the day because he is now super active. Welcome to the world of a two and a half year old. Um, so I realized quickly I did, I will full disclosure. I built at homeentrepreneur.com at night. I stayed up, I put my kid to bed and I stayed up late at night after my husband went to bed and I just pumped out, pumped out, pumped out work. I created my programs. I created my email stuff. I built my website. I started connecting with my clients, um, who, you know, usually responded first thing in the morning, <laughs> 40 people, Ugh. but, um, 
when he started to become more mobile, I realized that uh, that wasn't going to work for me because I was exhausted and I was losing my mind. So I had to change my routine to fit his routine. And I will tell you that since becoming a morning person, my business tripled and it was insane. So I'm not guaranteeing that your business will triple, but I am telling you that most one-on-one -on -one clients that I work with, their businesses do expand when they get up earlier. You get so much done in the morning. You don't think you will, but you will. It's insane. It's so crazy. So how do you do it? How do you get up? How do you not feel like a complete zombie? Do you have to get up and get dressed and get makeup on and, and, and have like your office set up and you know, all this jazz in order to be all business? No, no. Um, so I'm just going to tell you what I do <laughs> as simple as it is. I don't have this big elaborate routine. We'll say in order to get going, I either get up when my husband pokes me, like, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> or I get up when my alarm goes off. Sometimes I hit snooze. Guilty, guilty. I'm a snoozeaholic. So either way, I get up. I am not happy because I am not a morning person. Do not talk to me for the first, like, three, four minutes of my morning. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> so I get up and I turn off my alarm or I lay there for a minute and I just do a really good stretch. I know how silly that sounds, but I do. I do like one of those really big, I guess in yoga, it's a morning stretch term, a morning stretch. Ah, I just stretch it all out. I get all the joints loosened up, the muscles. I feel it from my head to my toes. It also just feels so relaxing. And I'll lay there for probably two minutes or so. Just stretching, just stretching. I wanna get the blood flowing. I want to get the mind going. I need to get up. And I don't want to just get up and get on going. I just can't. I can't. So I lay there for about two minutes. It's quick. Um, trust me, it goes by much faster when all you're thinking about is going back to sleep. So I just do a good little morning stretch and then I get up and then I throw on whatever is around me. If, I, if I'm in a tank top and I know that I have to record today, I try to put on something with sleeves. I try or I put on a jacket. Um, and then my next step, my very next step is I waddle on over to our bathroom and I brush my teeth. And this again, this might seem super silly, but there is just something about having fresh teeth that makes you, it kind of tricks your mind into thinking you're awake. You're like, some of you are like, well, that's the last thing I do before I walk out the door. Well, if you don't walk out the door until three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, are you really put together? I'm not saying that, you know, you got to brush your teeth at a certain time. But for me, something about having fresh teeth helps trigger my brain to be like, oh, okay, it's time to go now. Like time to be in go mode. So I have fresh teeth. I'm also not a face washer. I know how disgusting this is. I've actually had this conversation like five times this weekend. Um, I don't wash my face. I don't. I know how gross that sounds to some of you who are obsessive about washing your face. I don't. Um, I, I don't put soaps and things on my face every once in a while I'll use a pretty little face mask it just makes me feel all fresh and clean I will rinse my face in the shower if I'm feeling super super tired and I know that I look like a gremlin and I'm just like oh I recorded it oh my God. I will put some cold water on my face just to kind of perk up just to kind of wake up it helps give you that fresh feeling so on top of the fresh teeth I have a fresh cold on my face and that's the extent of my get up and go my hair is just crazy. I leave it crazy because, guys, you know, I don't care. Don't ask me how this happened. I don't know. I slept on it. That was that was the extent of that. Um, so that's it. That's that's my before I leave that door right there. That is our room. Where is it? Right there. Before I leave that room, I do my morning stretch. I brush my teeth, and every so often, if I know I have to show up in front of you, beautiful ladies, I will pat my face with some cold water. And then I walk out that door. I get the kettle going for some coffee. I grind the beans for our French press. I let the water boil while I open my laptop. I grab my notebook and I review it. I don't work. I don't work yet. I'm not in work mode yet. I'm getting into work mode. So the kettle's getting going. 
the coffee grinds are waiting. I'm reviewing my notes. I'm making little changes to it. Say I don't want to do that today and I know it's not due for a week or I don't have to get that done or to my biz bestie or, you know, maybe that deadline isn't for another two weeks. I don't know. And I maybe just, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood to do it today. I'll make some changes. If I know that there's something that I'm like, oh, I remembered this last night or I wrote it down last night before I went to bed and this has to be done. I'll add it to my list. I get my computer open. I plug in my info and then I'll either turn music on on my computer or I'll turn it on on the TV. Right now, I'm kind of trying to do a little test. I want to see how long my battery lasts without music or video in the background. So it's on the TV, which is why you see the beautiful screen. I just pull up Spotify and I just turn on some music. I usually wait till my husband's gone, but sometimes I don't. So I'm all set up. I'm ready to go. I'm not working yet. I'm not there yet. I'm, I've got my notebook. My notes are made. My computer is open and ready. I go ahead and pull up whatever I need, whether it's Trello or my email or ConvertKit or whatever, whatever I know that I'm going to need based on what's on my list. I do not pull up social media. <sighs> Let me say that again. I do not pull up social media. I'm not on my phone. You didn't hear me say that I, I rolled over and checked my phone. No, I don't do that. I will get sucked into a vortex of scrolling. I will scroll. And the next thing I know, it'll be two hours later. Don't open social media. Don't do it. Kettle's boiling. I pour it into the, whatever it's called, the French press, and then I let it steep. Four minutes. I have four minutes to just kind of relax. Sometimes I'll sit here and I'll just kind of like meditate a little. I'm not real super woo-woo-y, so I just basically sit here in the quiet, and I try to do some positive affirmations. You know, today's going to be a great day. You're going to get a lot accomplished today. You're going to teach the kiddo, you know, whatever is on our lesson plan for the day. You know, we're going to cover this, and he's going to love it. You know, I just send those good juju vibes, whatever, out there. I just sit here for the four minutes that it takes <laughs> to steep my coffee. And I just kind of collect my thoughts and I, and I get ready. I don't jump in. I don't take off running. I can't do that. It doesn't work. I've tried. Sometimes I get up, spring up out of bed, and I'm like straight to work. And I'm like, mm, no, that doesn't work. Um, sometimes I just sit here and have a conversation with my husband, who has not left for work yet. Oh, he's gone now. But before I get going, I'll just sit here and have a little conversation with him while we wait for the coffee to steep. Whatever it is. Once the coffee is done, pour it, mix it, come over here, sit down, take another last look at my to-do list, and then I decide what I'm going to start on, and then bam, here we are. That is my morning routine, guys. It takes maybe, maybe 15 minutes from totally unconscious to ready to work. I don't get up and put makeup on. I don't get up and, and take a shower. I don't need to. I'm not leaving the house for another five hours. I will take a shower. I will take a shower right before my kid wakes up. Um, but I don't need to right now. It's something that will just take time away from work. Um, it's on my list of things to do. I promise I shower every day. Every day. I can't not shower daily. So don't don't worry. I do shower daily. But... I won't shower first thing in the morning because then I'll just, if it's a nice warm shower, I just want to crawl back in bed with a pair of fresh jammies. <laughs> so I don't do it. I know myself. If showering first thing in the morning is something that you have to do, do it. It's totally fine. Um, but again, I'm not a hair and makeup person. I'm not a, you know, checking to make sure I don't have, you know, glorious little holes in my shirt. I don't, it's, to me, that is not a priority. Do I want to look like a human? Yes. I splash some cold water on my face. I don't want you to look at me and see this gremlin that comes out of my bedroom. Trust me, it's scary. You should ask my husband. Um, he married me. He's stuck. Anyway, um, but then I just, I kind of set the mood for work. And then I just get to it. That is as simple as that. I don't overcomplicate it. I don't add in a whole bunch of steps. I stick to the same thing every morning. Every morning, no matter what time I tell myself that I'm going to get up, whether I'm going to get up when my husband gets up, whether I'm going to get up like 45 minutes after he leaves, whatever it is, I'm normally up before six. 
I try to always be up by 5.30 at the latest because I want to hit the ground running by 6. I need to be working by 6. I need at least... I need at least two and a half hours to myself to work. Sometimes when I get up earlier, it's just bonus time. But guys, don't overcomplicate your mornings. Don't think that you have to get up and, and dress to the nines and, you know, the house doesn't have to be clean. I mean, well, mine is right now because I picked up before bedtime. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have a clean problem, guys. I admit it. I am like a neat, freak, cleany person. Um, my son picks up after we're done with every play session. Everything has a place and it goes back to it. That's just my OCD. So sorry if that's that's the thing in your house that's, you know, lax. That's okay. I'm not judging. I'm totally not judging. If I could let the house go, I totally would. Totally would. Trust me. My husband does. But anyway, you do not have to overcomplicate things in order to get ready for work. You work from home. I have pajama shorts on, guys. I have holes in my shirt. I haven't showered yet. You can't smell me. You work from home. People are only going to see you from here up. Unless I had showed you the holes in my shirt, you wouldn't have known that there were holes in my shirt. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Um, I don't have makeup on. I didn't get up and dry my hair, do my hair and whatever. I mean, I'm not eat my part's not even right. I don't. I don't really don't even know what's going on here. And that's all I do. Morning stretch, brush my teeth, sometimes splash some water on my face, get the coffee going, check over my to-do list, make sure my stuff's up, and turn the tunes on. That's it. It's just a nice little whatever on Spotify, my random stuff I like list. That's what I called it. That's what I called it. That's how, you know, fancy I get with Spotify. So if you are struggling to have a morning routine, you will probably read a half a dozen self-help books that are like, okay, you got to get up and you got to exercise. You got to make breakfast. You got to do this. And you got to do that. And you got to do this. And you're like, I can't do all that. I know I've done it. I've read eat the frog. I've read morning, uh, morning routines. I've read, um, oh, there's a fabulous book. It's, uh, it's escaped my mind right now, but it's all about morning routines and it tells you how you need to get up and do all this stuff. Let me tell you, I did do that. I did do that at the beginning of this year because I made a commitment in December that this year I was going to be a morning person. I still don't like it, but here I am. Could I be asleep right now? Yeah, I would totally be asleep right now. But I have goals and I have a business to run and it doesn't run if I'm unconscious. So I read this book. I think it's just called The Morning Routine. I'll have to figure it out. I... Miracle Morning. There we go. Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, I think. I don't know. I'll get you the details on it. But it was a great book. However, not practical for me. I don't get up and I don't do X, Y, Z in the morning. I'm not. Uh, there's a rare occasion where I'll do my workout first thing in the morning. But mornings for me are work time. I don't clean the house. I don't start the laundry. I don't make breakfast. I don't. I usually fast. So I, other than coffee, I don't tend to eat before 10. I don't know why. I just always have. I just don't. I will have my water, lots of water, third cup, by the way, and I will have coffee. So I don't make breakfast. I don't get my workout in. I'm not showering. I'm not doing housework. I'm not doing laundry. This is work time. I get up. I do the bare minimum to look no longer like a gremlin. You're welcome. I get myself to the point where I can function, my morning stretching, my affirmations, my meditation, whatever you want to call it. The husband leaves, it's great and quiet, and the baby is sleeping, and nobody's interrupting me, and I've got my tunes. And that's it. That's my entire morning routine. You do not have to overcomplicate it. doesn't matter how many self-help books you've read that say, you have to do this and this and this. you got to get your workout in because working out is the best thing for you in the morning. I'm not disagreeing. But if I know that I'm going to go for a run with my kiddo later, why am I going to do a workout this morning? Why? That's just crazy. Because then I'm going to be all sweaty right now, and then i got to wait for him to wake up, and then i got to be all sweaty later. And if I'm going to do my workout for Beachbody on Demand with my husband later, I'm just going to be super sweaty all day. And I don't like to be super sweaty. That's just not my thing. I have to shower after I do my workout. So but it's just not something I'm going to do. And since I don't eat first thing in the morning, if you do, that's totally fine. Grab something quick to eat.
or prep your morning breakfasts the night before or the week ahead or whatever it is. Make your routine super simple. You're a mom. You're busy. You don't have a whole lot of time. And the chances are the minions are going to be up soon. If you want to be able to start to finish, get some work done before they wake up, you have to have a quick and easy morning routine in order to get going. That's all I do, guys. It is super simple. There is no like scientific code to crack when it comes to what I do. I really just do the bare minimum. If I don't have to see anybody, if I don't have to go live, say on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> unless I'm going live in another group or I'm doing a, a podcast where we do like a live recording for it, um, I don't typically like get ready in the mornings, like no shower, no hair, no makeup, no nothing. Well, I don't wear makeup, but that's not the point. I don't overcomplicate it. This is my daily and nine times out of 10, Monday and Thursday, you guys see me as if I were Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm, I'm not super into being put together. I'm not that person. These are informal. If I'm doing a training video or something that I'm going to sell, I will absolutely put effort into it. I'll get my diva ring light out. I'll set up my office over there in our dining room. I, you know, it'll look really nice. I know how to make a really good sellable video, but guys, this is informal. This is something that I do just to teach and it's fun. And every time you go live, you don't have to be perfect. You just don't. So if you started and you're like, I got to go live on certain days because it'll grow your business. I assure you, it will grow your business. You don't have to be perfect. You just don't. Sorry. Bubble. You don't have to be perfect. That's not how this works. People want to connect with you because you are genuine and you are authentic and you have something to offer that Susie down the street doesn't have. So don't make your morning routine hard. Just get up. Just get up and get going and don't let it take you that long. Like I said, maybe 15 minutes start to finish for my whole morning routine prior to getting ready to work. So if you guys have any questions about morning routines, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.